and we're doing a week two review of the Crypto Hopper um, cryptocurrency trading bot here. And uh, some different strategies, Very another very interesting week in the crypto world, with the uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash drama, certainly the main event of the week. Um, but uh, here's what I've done with the, the hopper. I, I turned off the arbitrage because uh, both the arbitrage and just having TA on so many coins ended up with a lot of very of open, very small positions. And especially with the arbitrage, there were some positions that were so small that uh, that then Bitrix couldn't actually even even trade them. And looking at the profits on them, it just didn't seem worth like accumulating uh, all of these little little bits for the amount of arbitrage profit it was making. So um, I've done a few things. One, I'm playing kind of uh, cleanup on a lot of those. What I did was purchase a little bit more of each of the coins that uh, had like a failed arbitrage and just accumulated little bits of the coin. And I purchased enough that uh, that I could resell it into Bit Bitrix. So it's kind of like diving for uh, diving for virtual pennies here. And uh, and now I'm focusing more on really exclusively on the uh, configuration based on the signal trades which will mean fewer trades, but a larger amount and a higher um, success rate. So I'll show you what I'm using right now. Here's the configuration, again, the Bitrix. I've selected 75 coins. There are obviously more coins than that on Bitrix, so not all of the signals uh, will get bought um, because currently, you know, even with a max account, you can only select up to 75. But when one of your 75 selected uh, is called by one of the signals, then it will go ahead and purchase it and then follow your rules here. So I set it to the strategy to no strategy, just manual external signals only, right? Where I had it on uh, multiple TA factors and it would purchase signals as well in the past. And I followed the basic uh, Crypto, Harper, Crypto Harper Academy video for uh, a conservative approach to the signals. I have a percentage profit set up for 3% the arbitrage off and I have stop loss on at six percent and I'll show you uh, what I'm following here I'm also I'm letting it just play with about 0.125 Bitcoin right now until I find something I'm really happy with and then uh, we'll maybe increase that and it always depends on what Bitcoin and the overall altcoin is mar market is doing again it's uh, this is really like a power tool and so um, I think it still requires uh, some user attention uh, it's not like a set it and forget it thing until you maybe do find a setting or you've got a long enough stretch uh, where the altcoins are going up or whatever factors you determine uh, make the configuration you know consistent win. So this is what I'm testing out for now and I'll show you within the configuration the signal I'm following is called Crypto Bullet and uh, I'll go ahead and show you all the signals that they have for Bitrix and why I chose Crypto Bullet. All right, so that's the overall performance of each of these signal programs. Uh, and Daily Pumps and Crypto Bullet, obviously have, you know, Daily Pumps has a very high uh, performance rate here, but I'll show you why I'd, I prefer the Crypto Bullet currently, and that's, that's the highest one. The rest are all uh, uh, more data needed before I would experiment with any of these. That one doesn't have any calls yet. Uh, so fairly new feature. Here's the daily pumps revealed signals. And uh, you'll notice that a lot of these did hit the target of at least 3%, but, um, and, and some were really big wins. But there are a number that have not hit the 3%, right? And, uh, and so I instead... Um, because again, my settings are just set to take small profits at 3% instead of going for 50% and up, which it would be another strategy. You could use the trailing stop loss and just go for large uh, gains. But I went ahead and went with the crypto, the crypto bullet currently, because even though the overall performance uh, gains are less than the other one, you'll notice that almost every single spot 
has hit, except for mine today. The waves it purchased, uh, TKS I didn't have in my coins, but waves in Ethereum I did. So I got to take advantage of uh, a quick win on waves. My Ethereum position is still hanging out there, just waiting for a 3%. It's gotten close, but it hasn't touched it yet. So after 12 hours, it's at 1.89. It's just been really flat for the day. So anyway, hopefully that will pop up there and go ahead and close that out. Um, as a 3% gain instead of a 6% stop loss close. Uh, but these other ones popped today and sold pretty quickly. Uh, the waves hit its 3% uh, XLM uh, Stellar Lumen hit its uh, CFI I didn't have in there, UNB I didn't have, Core I didn't have. But I think the last signal before that was, was BAT and that also hit it, basic attention token. Uh, anyway, so that's a little update on the strategy I'm using now. Uh, if I get consistent results with this one, I may go ahead and up the amount of Bitcoin I'm letting it uh, play with so that um, we can get that. But you can see for the week, uh, this is a combination of my cleanups on the uh, on the sort of failed arbitrages, these small ones that I purchased into a little bit further. And then uh, we're just letting them get... Uh, Get gains there. Most of them have sold in the positive. And, you know, it's like 0.29% gains in this last week. This is a very nice new feature. Last week, this was not here. It just had the total BTC and assets on the exchange. You'll notice I've locked in some other gains uh, from this last week from some other positions. Overall, compared to last week, we added about 0.1 Bitcoin for the week. Not, not bad. We'll take that. If we could get 0.1 Bitcoin every week consistently, that'd be just fine. Uh, and then over here on the total BTC invested, this part now is just for the bot, and you can reset it. And so I actually will do that after uh, these, uh, la these uh, what, 26 positions I have left close out one way or another. I'm going to go ahead and reset that so I can tell uh, what, um, what kind of results I'm getting with the signal alone. And so hopefully by tomorrow... Um, I'll have most of those positions closed out. I'll go ahead and reset this. And then I'll check in uh, in another week and I'll give you the report on this one signal. We can see how it's done for the week. I'll keep it conservative. But if it's looking good and if the market is, uh, uh, it's not just that the market has favored it excessively, but we've got a little bit of up and a little bit of down, then uh, we might up that up, bring that up a little bit if that's working. Uh, there is also another uh, crypto. A configuration uh, for a signal that the crypto hopper team really likes but is trading just on poloniex and i'm not trading on poloniex right now just bitrix uh, that is supposed to open up for bitrix sometime december january as well so uh, if that one really does have a higher even higher success rate for its signals then uh, i'll give it a shot but this one's looking pretty good so far Okay, uh, let's see, anything else to comment on while I'm here? Why don't we just show you just some of the trade history. I'll show you what this looks like. Uh, oh, it's just, it's running right now, so we gotta wait, let it refresh. When it's, uh, when it's actively running for the hopper, it won't let you do any active buyer sells for that little um, window of time, and there it's done, so that's it. All right, yeah, so closing out at 0.29 here. Uh, for the week, this little combo strategy of, of cleanup on the arbitrage. And, uh, you know, I like my portfolio to look tidy. It's nice if you have, uh, you know, in your Bitrix wallets, you have just 10 positions open. You can see them all at a glance and get really clear picture. Um, but here's a little picture of the trade history. Let's do that. Here we go. And then we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. So these are some of my positions that uh, were just cleanups again. I added to the position just enough to have enough that Bitrix could close it out. So in most cases, you know, 0 0.0006, uh, anything 0 0.0005 is the minimum trade amount. Under that, they call it a, a dust trade, and they can't do it. Uh, so anyway, most of these are selling at uh, profit over the 3%. And I want to find one of the ones that the signal did today. These are all just uh, positions that have closed out so far. But where's one of these other ones here from earlier? 
yeah, there was there was a lot of a lot of cleanup I did with these today. All of these buys are just when I uh, synced it up with the hopper, so then it could add it to positions and close it out using those rules. Okay, so here it is. Here's one from Waves today. It bought 0 0.06 Waves and then sold it. It didn't take long uh, and sold it at a 4.4% profit. So that's one of the ones. Uh, Bitrix, uh, or I'm sorry, Ethereum is the one I'm, I'm waiting for it to close out as well. But here's where it bought the Waves. Bought it this morning at 7.42. And uh, it did XLM as well. XLM also sold. Uh, Where's the larger XLM position right here? Buy and buy and then a sell. Two sells right right there shortly thereafter. Um, so the Ethereum's the one I'm waiting on. Hopefully that'll that'll close nicely. And uh, yeah, again I'll report on that next week. I'll reset the uh, the uh, investment amount it's used so we can get an accurate report on just the returns from the hopper and the strategy and the signal subscription uh, alone. We'll see what it looks like. All right, until then, uh, have a great week in the crypto world. Breathe, enjoy, and we'll see how it goes. Talk to you soon.